good morning <coughs> today we are continuing the lesson doping in this chapter we have studied about some of the substances which are prohibited in sports we have studied stimulant and second we have studied anabolic steroids now third we are discussing the performance enhancing substance that is peptide hormone peptide hormone is the word it is the chain of protein molecules these are the hormones which are very beneficial for the body growth and they are responsible for different type of growths in the body various organs of the body various physiological systems of the body and various hormones and enzymes are produced which are responsible for overall growth of the body so these are the peptide hormones these are the substances produced by gland in body peptide hormones are generally produced by our body they carry the oxygen and circulate in the blood and through the blood these hormones are circulated to the different parts of the body they increase the production of rvcs and hence improve the growth of muscles additional intake of these hormones can enhance the performance that's why these are prohibited in and out of competition so the peptide hormones naturally the body certain amount of the hormones are produced by the body as per the body demand different individual have different amount of hormones are produced because the body demand the so these hormones and naturally these hormones are produced by the body for the growth and development but when we are taking these hormones from outside that can cause some deformities sometimes the peptide hormones are recommended for the therapy by the doctors but these are should not be taken without any medical purpose sports these hormones are used by the sports person for desired growth and development and that's why these hormones are these peptide hormone these substances are prohibited in sport during the competition and out of the competition the examples of these hormones are there erythroprotein epo insulin and human growth hormones somatotropin that is somatotropin human growth hormone is somatotropin so various hormones are there various hormones under the peptide hormones category are there which are beneficial for the body and they are produced by our body naturally and these are the substances which are available in market and people take for the purpose of enhancing their performance and enhancing their growth and development these are erythroprotein epo insulin and human growth hormones as erythroprotein is the epo it is taken by the injection at it helps to increase in obesities number of obesities are increased by the help of erythroprotein epo 
by the sports person insulin it is also taken orally and by injection also and it enhances the muscle growth human growth hormones it also used for various desired growth in the body it is also taken orally and in the by the form of injection so this is about the peptide hormones peptide hormones are the prohibited substances which are prohibited in sports and these hormones are naturally produced by your body and that is beneficial when they are being naturally produced by the body then we will see the picture of the peptide hormones i am showing you so these are the protein molecules are bonded together that is known as peptide bond so that's why this these are known as the peptide hormones next we will come to the beta 2 agonist beta 2 agonist are the drug generally used to treat asthma what is the main use of purpose of these drugs these medicines these are the medicines for asthma and it relaxes the muscles that surround the airway and opening of the air passages that's why it is used to cure the asthma it allow more oxygen to reach the blood because when more oxygen will reach to the lungs so more oxygen will reach to the blood it enhances the respiratory functions increase their capacity of strenuous strenuous effort and shorten recovery time so this is the use of the beta 2 agonist in case of a sports person it increases the capacity of strenuous activities strenuous efforts and shorten recovery recovery time because inhalation is increased oxygen sub, uh, sufficient oxygen is supplied to the blood by the lungs so it increases the respiratory efficiency overall so there are the examples are there acetabutol bitaxolol and cardiolol so these are the examples these are taken in the form of inhalers and orally they increase the oxygen in the blood oxygen in the lungs air passes and they helps in the rapid recovery these are the beta 2 agonist which are also prohibited in the sports so hence this way they are helping to the sport person to perform to enhance their performance by the form of increasing the respiratory efficiency respiratory functions increasing the amount of oxygen in blood because when maximum inhalation sufficient oxygen will be there so that will be help to provide sufficient oxygenated oxygenated blood to the different parts of the body and that sufficient oxygenated blood helps to get recover the sports persons from various injuries and from various damages occurred during the activity so this is about the beta 2 agonist beta 2 agonist the substance which is prohibited in sports this is the picture i will show you in 
in the form of inhaler it is given to treat the asthma it improves the lung efficiency it open the air passes hence the maximum oxygen reaches to the lungs and to the blood another we will discuss that is narcotic form the nasing substance narcotics narcotics are also prohibited in sports the narcotics are they reduce the elimination of pain and injuries basically these narcotics are a pain killer narcotics are the heavy pain killers these are used to relieve the pain during the surgery and during any pain of the disease or ailment so this is the medical use of the narcotic wherever there is severe pain so the narcotics are used for as a pain killer but in athlete in sports athlete to do persistent effort for a longer time by using narcotic to ignore the injuries athlete increase further risk to damage their body it also reduce anxiety which enhance the performance so narcotics are helping to the sports person in which form they first of all they delay the feeling of pain because during the sports activities some sort of damage or tension of over the muscle muscular system can be feel and for delaying this feeling of the pain and discomfort and anxiety various sports person use narcotics that's why the narcotic is prohibited in sports narcotics are also prohibited these are the drugs these are the substances which are harmful when they are taken without prescription of doctors and without any medical purpose they are very harmful for the they directly affect our central nervous system they makes people central nervous system to delay the feeling of pain they delay the sensation they affect the working of nervous system so that's why these substances are prohibited in sports as well as in common life also normal persons are also suggested to do not use the narcotics because they have very severe side effects later in life and while they are used that time also they cause serious problems serious accidents serious physical and psychological problems so people may suffer with various serious problems by using narcotics they only give pleasure for certain time duration a short time duration and they have long lasting side effects examples of these narcotics are morphine heroin pethidine etc the 
they did they are taken in the form of injection orally they are taken in the form of inhalers they are taking inhaling form they are taken and they reduce the feeling of pain they improves stamina for short time of duration they reduce anxiety so the narcotics are banned narcotics are already considered harmful for the people that's why the narcotics are banned in sports and common normally for the people also then we can see the narcotic anti narcotic agencies are there that is narcotic control bureau central narcotic control narcotic bureau a government of india kendri narcotic bureau so these are the agencies which are responsible to detect the use of narcotics because narcotics are banned that, that just we were discussing in previous slide these are not banned only in sports they are banned normally also that's why these agencies are always finding the people who are using and who are selling this kind of drugs these drugs are only sold under the prescription of medical practitioners or doctors because these are very harmful and they have very harmful side effect in the human body next we will discuss about diuretics diuretics are the drugs by which the name we can understand diuretics they increase the urination urine formation in the body they increase the formation of urine in the body and that's why the name is the diuretics these are non performance enhancing drug because the diuretics directly they are they do not enhance the performance of the individual the sports person but indirectly they affect the performance of the individual they help to enhance the performance indirectly how indirectly that i will tell you because the diuretics are used by the sports person to lose the weight because frequent urination eliminates certain useful substances from the body like carbohydrate and fat also some glucose molecules are also filtered when there is the frequent urine formation is there so that cause the weight loss because when the fluid of the body is reduced by in the form of urine formation so that cause the weight loss in the individual so that's why these are non performance enhancing drug directly they are not enhancing the performance but indirectly they affect they are used like if the weight lifters has to reduce the weight if the rest in the wrestling in the boxing if the person has to maintain certain weight so that is maintaining the required weight can help to enhance the performance of the individual that indirect effect is there so these person are uh, mostly these person use these diuretics where the controlling the weight and maintaining the weight is 
required in sports activities so these are non performance enhancing drug but are used in sports to remove fluid water in particular from the body fluids in the form of urination that i have told you these are used to reduce the body weight rapidly as in weight lifting boxing and wrestling etc where the weight should be under control and desired weight should be there this drug are also used to evade anti doping test this drug are used by the athlete in and out of competitions so what is the use of the diuretic they are commonly used medically they are used to enhance the urine formation in the body various the urological disorders urological disorders where there is the urine formation and kidney problems are there so in which the urine is not being formed properly the kidneys are not working properly as we know the nephron is the unit of kidney which is used to filter out the harmful substances from the body and it eliminate the harmful substances in the form of urine from the body like urea so the urination when frequently frequent formation of urine is there in the body so that sometime in the function mechanism of the nephron when we will you will study so then you will understand that the frequent formation of urination cause the loss of useful substances sometime so that helps to reduce the weight in the athlete quickly so that's why these drugs are also banned diuretics are prohibited in sports the examples of the diuretics are dextron amylorite and cantrion these are taken orally by injection and the effect is rapid weight loss that we have discussed remove fluid from the body evade anti doping test because they are difficult to detect during the anti doping test so these are this is the another drug we have discussed diuretic which is also prohibited in sports so diuretic that i have discussed directly affect the kidney to enhance the performance of the uh, formation of urine it is medically used to increase the urine flow a diuretic is any substance that promote diuretic that increased production of urine all diuretics increase the excretion of water from body that we have discussed next is gluco corticosteroids seventh substance it is used to enhance the performance that is glucocorticosteroids this is also known as glucocorticoids glucocorticosteroids so these drugs are also they relieve the fatigue and pain they provide more tolerance of pay for pain and prepare the athlete to continue the effort the so glucocorticoids are given taken by the athletes to reduce the feeling of pain and tiredness and that's why they are considered as endurance developing endurance 
developing drugs in the sports so when athletes are uh, athletes are taking these glucocorticosteroids so they help them to continue work for longer duration they help them to continue the activity for longer time without feeling any pain and tiredness so that's why these glucose corticosteroids are also prohibited in sports another one is cannabinoids these are also the cannabinoids which affect the central nervous system these are psychoactive chemicals that cause a feeling of relaxation cannabinoids are commonly known as hashish and marijuana 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 and hashish the commonly they are known are example and their use is prohibited in competition these are the derivative of cannabis sativa that we will see in further next slide the cannabinoids are the derivatives of cannabis sativa this is the plant cannabis sativa this is also considered a kind of narcotic common name is cbd cannabinoids mostly used by the sports person so this is all about the performance enhancing substances so we have discussed about stimulants we have discussed about the anabolic stro- anabolic steroids we have discussed about narcotics we have discussed about the diuretics we have discussed about beta 2 agonist we have discussed about glucocorticosteroids and we have discussed the cannabinoids so these are the various drugs which are known as performance enhancing substances so now we will discuss about the physical methods of doping so this we will discuss in the next video